Hey guys, James Erickson from SayHiJames.com. 30 videos in 30 days. This is day number five. Uh, we're just pulling into Lowe's here. Uh, we've got, uh, we're gonna make this cool little flip cam uh, clamp that will allow you to pretty much mount your video recorder, your camera, whatever you're trying to mount, uh, pretty much anywhere. Uh, you know, you can spend a lot of money for a gorilla pod or whatever, or you can spend, uh, I believe I spent $3.40. Uh, you can easily do it for under five bucks. So join me, we're headed to Lowe's get the, all the supplies and then I'll show you how to make it. I just got here to Lowe's. We're getting out of the car now and I'm gonna go in and find some cool stuff and show you how to make this little project. So here we are in Lowe's. Um, it's kind of quiet. It's a Sunday morning. There's a lot of uh, useless employees walking around. But this is what we're gonna make. It's a little clamp thing uh, that allows me to screw in from the bottom of my flip cam and what we need to do is find some bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and look around and I'll let you know when we stop. Right now we're in the Hardware aisle, and basically all the nuts and bolts are. I'm going to show you where exactly the final nuts and bolts that you need. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's always, in the hardware aisle, there's always this little rack on the wall, and it has uh, both nuts and bolts that you can screw this in. And since I have one of these, and I know it's the right size, I'm going to screw it in to this one here, and I see that it fits uh, once I screw it in. So that tells me the size I need is 1 quarter by 20. So 1 quarter by 20 bolt. And uh, we'll find some of those here in a second. Down below, wherever you're getting your nuts and bolts at, you can probably pick them up for you know, 20 cents a piece. So I'll find them actually here. Quarter by 20, quarter by 20. You know, there's quarter by 20 nuts or 10 cents a piece. And the quarter by 20 bolts or So I'm spending like 24 cents on bolts. And the hex nuts are actually 5 cents a piece. So 15 cents, so total probably about 40 cents on bolts and hardware. So next stop, uh, we're going to go find the clamp. Looks like it's down the aisle with the vices and the clamps. You'll find a lot of clamps, like this big one. Uh, this little one might be kind of cool. And, you know, for future, it's got kind of a lock system on it, so you can really clamp it down on something. Here we go. $2.98. Individual clips just like this, just like the one we already had. I think I got it here first. Two inch spring clamp. That should do it for us. So $2.98, we're gonna shoot for one of those. All right, well, it looks like, looks like we got everything we needed. Let's go ahead and uh, go check out. Just one clamp and those three. One quarter by 20 by half inch. Nuts and bolts. Just regular nuts. Just regular nuts. Okay. All right, perfect. Thank you. You too. All right, guys. Now that we're back from the store, I got my bag of goodies here. Let me recap what you're going to need for this project. Uh, you'll need, looks like a, it says two inch spring clamp. So it looks like this. Uh, you can open it and close it. Got some red tips. It depends. I mean, the different kinds, but two inch spring clamp. And then you'll also need three one quarter inch 20, one quarter inch by 20 by one half inch long bolts with the nuts. And I've got three, actually you might only need two. Total cost of the spring clamp and the three bolts was $3.40 with the spring clamp being about three bucks a night. Uh, a couple other things you'll need. You'll need a cordless drill with a quarter inch uh, drill bit in there. You can probably borrow a friend's or steal a friend's or something. You will need a crescent wrench, kind of optional. And this one's also optional. You might need a like a utility knife of some kind. Uh, some of this stuff in here might need to be cut out. So first step would probably be to drill the holes in your clamp. You're going to want to make sure that when you clip your clamp onto something, that wherever you drill the hole is going to make your camera sit level. Um, it doesn't really, I mean, you have a, kind of a lot of play in this. But I always like, in this original example I have, I have it up here. The problem was when you clip that on, this thing was always tipped this way or that way. So for this one, I'm actually going to get rid of that. For this one, I'm actually going to drill the hole right here at the top of the clip. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now if you'll see, I've drilled a hole actually right through there. What I need to do now is take my utility knife, and I said you might need this, and kind of go in. There's a couple pieces in here that I need to clean out. And 
they just kind of break out actually they're just there to uh, reinforce the clip itself um, you're not going to be using this for anything heavy duty other than to hold like a, a three ounce uh, camera up so you really don't need that stuff there so you just kind of go in and hack some of this stuff away all right after you have that cleared out in there what you can do is you can take your bolt uh, your half inch and uh, insert it so you have the piece up as such okay so you can see the little threads and then just take your nut and go ahead and thread it right on there like that and you'll see that it doesn't stick up very much and that's because it's it's kind of rounded on the inside so that's why I like to have the wrench ready because then I can wrench this down quite a bit and now you'll actually see that that little barb right there sticks up quite a bit so that's where you're gonna screw on your flip cam uh, I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm actually gonna create another hole on the side here that I can that I can also screw my flip cam in so I can use it as uh, a piece that will set like this and kind of give me a, st a stable base if you know anything about a flip cam or many digital cameras that are rounded on the bottom when you try and set it down, it's not really stable. So this way, if I can, if I set this down, it'll become a stable base for my camera. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll show you the finished product here in a second. Okay, so there you see my finished clip. Uh, I've got one up top here, and I've got one here on the side, so I could set it down on its side maybe. Uh, you take your, uh, I've never done it with, this is my previous model with the one up here. Um, but as you can see, this one's going to tend to probably be a little more stable as well as hold the camera leveler, more level. Um, but what you do is you just take your camera, and if you got the quarter inch by 20 bolts, your camera should clip right onto that. And now if I want to film myself right here, I can just clip it to the side, adjust, make a little bit of adjustments, flip the camera however I want it, and there we go. So that's how you make a flip cam mount for less than five bucks. My name is James Erickson. This has been day five of your 30 videos in 30 days. Uh, come back tomorrow for day six. Sayhijames.com.